Hello and welcome to a video on prayer. This is for the Catholic Practices Unit on the Catholic Christianity GCSE exam. In this video we will be looking at what prayer is, different types of prayer, the Lord's Prayer and the importance of prayer. So let's get started. What is prayer? Prayer is communication with God. In the Catechism it says that prayer is the raising of one's mind to God. This means that when you pray, your heart and mind should be fully focused on God. Because God is always present, prayer can be done privately or publicly, alone or with others, silently or with words, speaking to God or listening to God, and at all times. This is because in the Bible it says, pray constantly. Because of this, Catholics can pray in different ways. They can use formal prayers, which are prayers agreed by the Church, such as the Our Father and Hail Mary, and informal prayers, which are more spontaneous and personal. So, what are the different types of prayers? There are five different types of prayers for Catholics. Adoration, Thanksgiving, Repentance, Intercession and Petition. Firstly, Adoration. This is praising or adoring God. For example, O oh God, how great and marvellous you are. Second, thanksgiving, which is expressing gratitude to God. For example, grace before meals. Third, repentance, confessing sins and asking for God's forgiveness, e.g. I confess. Fourth, intercession, asking for God's help for others, e.g. the bidding prayers which are said in the Mass during the liturgy of the Word. And finally, we have petition, which is asking God's help for oneself. For example, Lord, please help me to work hard for my exams. So, now we are going to have a look at the Lord's Prayer, which is the prayer Jesus gave us as an example. Jesus taught his followers at the Sermon on the Mount how they should pray. He told his followers to not pray like hypocrites do. This means that when you are praying, you shouldn't show off or use words that you don't understand. Instead, he tells us to go into our room, shut the door and pray to our Father who is in secret. This means that prayer should be sincere and heartfelt when we raise our mind and heart totally to God. Jesus gave the Lord's Prayer as the perfect example of prayer. In the Catechism it says the Lord's Prayer is the most perfect of all prayers. This is because it includes all of the different types of prayer, adoration, intercession, thanksgiving, repentance and petition. It includes adoration as when it says, hallowed be thy name, we are adoring how great the Lord's name is. It includes intercession as when it says, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We are praying for the world, where we pray for the return of Christ to restore perfection into the world. Thanksgiving is shown when we pray for our daily bread, as we acknowledge that everything we need to live this day is a gift from God. Repentance is when we ask God to forgive our wrongdoings. And finally, we see petition when we ask the Lord to help us to turn away from sin. This is why the Catechism regards the Lord's Prayer as the most perfect. Finally, we will look at why it's important. Firstly, Loving God is one of the greatest commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Praying to God obeys this commandment. Secondly, praying at home in private prayer allows the family to be brought closer together. Similarly, praying publicly, such as at church, allows the community to come together and be strengthened. Pray constantly highlights one of God's natures that God is omniscient and everywhere. And finally, Prayer is important as by praying we are following Jesus' example. This is because Jesus prayed to God, for example in the Garden of Gethsemane, but also he taught Catholics how to pray on the Sermon of the Mount. So there we have it. We have looked at that prayer is the raising of one's mind to God. We have looked at the different types of prayer, the Lord's Prayer, and how the Catechism describes it as the perfect prayer. And finally, we have looked at the several reasons why prayer is important to Catholics.